What's going on guys, Joker back again once again, and today people, today we are talking more Destiny, but before we get started, go ahead and ninja the crap out of that like button. You already know that your support is appreciated. So, yesterday, Age of Triumph launched, and with it, the Destiny 2 teaser trailer called Final Call. Which is kind of funny, because previously to the leaks, I remember reading a post on the Reddit subforums for Destiny about the last thing that people were going to do as their guardian in Destiny 1. Essentially, the main post said that everybody should put on their favorite gear, put on their favorite weapons, and go drink one last time in the Hunter's Lounge. One last song, one last dance, one last goodbye. And then, bam! That's what's kind of on display here with Cade 6. So, I thought that was kind of funny. Another community-oriented uh, thing that just kind of shows that the community and Bungie are somewhat in sync is during the leaks for Destiny 2, this comic surfaced of the Sweeper Bot. The Sweeper Bot is finally, finally, after three years, uh, finished cleaning the tower. And she's like, I wonder if the Vanguards will be happy. And then she goes to report to the Vanguards and walks out, and the city is on fire. And we kind of see that in the trailer where the sweeper bot's just like, I hate my life. And Cade's just like yammering on. He's like, oh, well, I guess you would have had to be there. Blah, 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 blah. I just, I think it's adorable. I think it's a cool trailer. I think it's probably the best Destiny tease that they've ever had. But, uh, I mean, anything with Nathan Fillion or Cade is top notch. So... Anyways, another really kind of cool little Easter egg that came out of the trailer is if you look at the end of the trailer, there's guardians that come up the left side of the street where after Cade's walking out of the bar, and they're new monarchy guardians. Well, if you've ever been sitting in the tower, you'll hear across the PA, uh, Cade 6 will occasionally come on the speakers, and he'll actually threaten Executor Hideo, implying some kind of grudge. He'll be like... So, I just thought it was kind of funny that you have Cade, and then you have all these new Monarchy Guardians running together. It's, again, it, it's cute. Um, anyways, ladies and gents, uh, it looks like the Cabal are, in fact, the perpetrators of this attack. How they managed to attack the city, I have no clue. I mean, the Fallen have hundreds of ships. If the Cabal can just walk in and attack from the air, why haven't the Fallen? Uh, who knows? I hope they have a really interesting way of justifying it, but we will see. I still would have preferred the Vex. We all know where I stand on that, but uh, maybe time will tell. Maybe next time. Maybe, in fact, the, uh, the Cabal attacking is just the prelude. Maybe the Vex will play a part. I mean, we were kind of all over the place in Destiny 1, so who knows? But those are my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comments below and stay tuned for tomorrow when we will take a look at the Destiny 2 reveal trailer. All right, ladies and gents, that's it for me. Stay frosty.